even though it seems like the wicked prosper, in verse 13 it says the wicked will not prosper for they do not fear God. Do you think, do you think, do you perceive, do you analyze and interpret the wicked and say they're prospering? They're not. Your analysis and interpretation is wrong. You're not using God's wisdom, you're using your own wisdom. And you're saying, that wicked person is prospering. God says, <laughs> good one. They're not prospering. What's the difference? These little words, in this life. You think you see the godly not being better off? You're wrong. If you perceive, if you analyze and interpret that the godly are not being better off, you're wrong. You're not using God's wisdom, you're using your own. Solomon says they will be better off because they do fear God. Is it possible, listen to me please, real quick. Is it possible that we are using the wrong measuring device? When we're analyzing and interpreting the wicked and the wrongs in the world, is it possible that we're using the wrong measuring device? Are we measuring what is good and prosperity by what we can see in this minuscule vapor of a life? Is that our measuring device where we say, yeah, but God, yeah, but God, look at how good things are going for them. And God's like, you know what? They're not gonna see the sunrise tomorrow. What if our measuring stick is wrong? Are we really, listen please, are we really using the amount of dung and kindling that a person is collecting for the fire to determine whether they're doing well? Oh, that person's doing well, he has a mountain of dung there. Listen, Paul says in Philippians chapter three, all that I gained, I counted loss, even as excrement, as garbage, as dung, that I may gain Christ. And we're saying, yeah, but look at all the dung they have. <laughs> and, and not only dung, but they have a whole pile of kindling for the fire when this world burns. Lord, I want dung. I want kindling for the fire. How come I don't get that? How come I only get heaven and your presence and your glory for eternity? They get a pile of dung for a vapor. Is there a chance that maybe our perception is wrong? Is there a chance that our measuring device might actually be wrong? It's because we use our own wisdom and our own wisdom is driven by our sin nature. And if we will crucify our own wisdom and receive God's wisdom, we're gonna be saying, oh, that poor sucker. You know, all he has is dung and kindling, and I have Jesus, right? Oh, that's easy to say on Sunday. <laughs> Listen, stop it. Stop measuring someone else's prosperity with the world's measuring tools. Stop it, stop it. It's man's wisdom 